is our uh, 2007 H2X pool that uh, I'm modifying to have a much greater flow for the propul propulsion system. Um, these are actually um, just a drain grate. They're not meant to flow water. They're made by a company called Waterways. And uh, I basically cut out the center section, which is the same size hole as here as here. Bigger, basically as tall and as I can make it and a little bit wider. And um, have replaced that propeller with something from a company called Torquito. Torquito, actually. Um, if you'll notice, it's about as close as it can get to the top, but there's a lot of room in the bottom. So if you were able to drill a hole through there and, you know, relocate the, you know, where the motor is, you could probably, you know, put in an even larger propeller. This one, I, I would have to look up the specs to remember the size of it, but it is definitely bigger than stock. The most important part of it is that it flows water much, 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 much better than the stock propeller and uh, probably even better than the Michael Phelps type propeller, which uh, I bought and I thought about installing. This is the new grate that goes over this hole. It's basically um, three inch square plexiglass tubes. And then the other side is this, uh, basically it's actually um, fluorescent light diffuser that you can buy at, at uh, Tap Plastics. <clears throat> Stainless screws are used to hold it in, otherwise they'll rust. And um, it's been working great for my wife. In fact, I have to go in there. This propeller generates so much torque that it's causing the belt to slip. And I actually need to get in there and um, undo the electric motor, put some shims underneath the electric motor, lift it up a bit, and then bolt it back down so the belt is tighter. Otherwise, it's going to slip. Right now, <clears throat> when she turns the power on, she used to basically rat max it almost all the way out with the stock propeller. Now she uses it right at about here, 25 to 30%. And she's getting a better workout than she did with the stock propeller at 50% at or whatever it is, this number over here. The other thing is, as soon as she turns on much past 30, it starts to slip and squeal. So I'm going to actually tighten the belt so she can now turn this more powerful propeller up higher. So that's going to be fun. The other thing that you should note, if you look closely at this propeller and think about it for a second, it is in the reverse direction. Of propulsion than the stock propeller and you can actually reverse the direction of the motor in your H2X SPA because it is a three-phase motor and I'll show you a little more about that in a bit. Okay so there's kind of a lot of bright light here this is the um, motor that uh, runs the H2X it goes down to a pulley right here it looks kind of big in the picture but here's my hand so you get an idea it's not really that big the thing that's going on is that this belt is now to the point where the engine can turn so fast that the belt slips. And then also look at how loose the belt is. See me squeezing it. Okay, so it needs to be tightened up and I don't have a new belt. Here's another thing that's a little disturbing. Watch this platform. When I squeeze the belt, you, you may not be able to see that, but the actual motor goes up and down. Maybe you can see it right there. So this, you know, it's, it's on a piece of old plywood. It looks like it's taken on a good bit of moisture. It's not in great shape. Someday, it'd be nice to tear that out and replace it with something more buff, right? But that's not gonna happen today. What I'm gonna undo is undo these bolts, put a few washers or something else underneath there, and shim the motor up so that this belt is tighter and it doesn't slip when it's going at high speed. Another thing I'll point out to you is when you, this is a three-phase conversion system. Regular 220 goes in here and then comes out on this this wire, on well, this big cable, to the H2X motor as three-phase. This motor is reversible in direction. And if you read the top of this thing, or on the side, no, it's on the side here, actually. Right there. Right here. You can, you can see that it tells you how to reverse the motor by literally going into this box with all your power off, of course, and taking any one of the two wires and swapping them. And that will reverse the direction of the motor. And that's required for both the Michael Phelps uh, propeller, if you decide to try to upgrade to that, or to the Torquedo, which I think is the best propeller for the job, if you upgrade to that one.